Oh, why, hello there. Welcome back to my channel, okay? All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I refresh my very long knotless braids, okay? I'm very obsessed with knotless braids. I just love how flat they are. I love how fast they are. I love how light they are. I love it all, even though these ones aren't that light. But anyway, one thing about knotless braids is that they do tend to get like a little bit fuzzy at the scalp area because you're not starting with extensions at the very top. But I do wanna share just how I refresh my braids, how I wash them, keep them clean. I do, I've been doing fit famu, okay? So uh, your girl's been in the gym, so I do sweat quite a bit. And anyone that knows anything about anything, sweat, scalp, must, okay? We are not walking around here musty. That's just not okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my hair, how I just keep it, smelling nice, keeping my scalp, my actual natural hair clean, all of that jazz. So if you guys wanna see my routine, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I mean, come on, just join the fam. Like, I don't I don't think you're regretting to. Let's just click the button. Thank you. And also make sure to follow me on all of my other social media platforms as well. I'm not just on YouTube, girl. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Pinterest. So follow me everywhere else at Chizzy Duru, okay? We are, we're at Chizzy Duru everywhere, so make sure you guys follow me on there as well. Okay, let's get into it. So like I mentioned, I have been in the gym, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So I do sweat a lot, and y'all, after like a week, my hair be smelling musty. I can't have it. I can't have that. I actually went to the gym today, funny enough. So I went to the gym and I've showered already. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my hair after. This routine includes no actual like running water on the hair. Girl, I don't got time for that. These braids are already quite heavy, so I just really don't want extra water on my hair. Okay, so the first thing I do is I make sure to clean my scalp. So I've been using this product right here. This is from African Pride. This is their braid and scalp cleansing rinse. And it has black castor oil, micellar water, coconut oil, and peppermint oil. So I find that this is really great just to give my scalp a gentle cleanse. And what I do is I simply just run it through, ooh lord, run this all along the parts of my hair. So once I run it across, I just kind of smooth it in and I'll do that everywhere. So also, if you like suffer from like itchiness of any sort, this is also a great routine to have for your braids or any type of protective style. Even if you're wearing weaves, girl, just throw, you know, get, get in there. It has a really nice applicator tip. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna massage that in. All right, so I went and I wet my rag. You wanna take a wet rag. Like I said, you're not gonna actually run any water on your hair because I found that to just be a lot. <laughs> it was a little excessive, you know what I mean? I can't just be wetting my braids every day. Listen, listen, listen. But this works just as well. I'm definitely taking water from a water bottle. This, it doesn't matter. So you're gonna take a wet rag and you're gonna go in and actually clean those parts, okay? So you're just gonna do like a... Do y'all wanna see what it looks like under there? See that? Girl, that's dirt. That's dirt, that is sweat, that's nasty. Clean it. Your braids will be smelling musty. Can't have that. Ooh, girl, this is dirty. Ooh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I am embarrassed, it's actually really dirty, but I mean, such is life. Ah, what do you want me to do? That's why we're cleaning it. To be fair, all of this dirt on here may be makeup. Um, it's gonna, it's makeup, okay? Cause the makeup goes kinda here too, so please, it can't be all sweats. What's kind of nonsense that? Your boyfriend is not telling you, but your hair is smelling. The tin is smelling. It's not all right. <laughs> it's actually not all right, but don't worry. If you follow these tips, your hair will not be smelling, okay? People gonna get a whiff of your hair and they're gonna be like, mmm, what's that? Don't worry, just keep following, okay? Just keep following. All right, so we're gonna do this all over. Ooh, 
Jesus. Yeah, that's that's makeup. That's definitely makeup. I'm not showing y'all that. Like, you're really in my business right now, and I don't understand why. Ooh, this actually feels so good, and it's really refreshing on the scalp as well. Feels better already. We're gonna keep going, but see that scalp girl? We don't got no dandruff, no nothing. No nada, okay? Now, if you want something just a little bit quicker, even less water, or something to follow up with after cleansing the scalp, you could also go in with dry shampoo. This one is from Pantene. I don't really have a preference, but this is something I like to spray a little on the scalp, a little along the braid as well, just so that it kind of removes any like musty scent as, again, like I said. But you do want to actually like remember to clean your scalp. Like you have to clean your scalp. Clean your scalp, please. But yeah, we can actually, we can go in with some dry shampoo. I also like to spray this like if I know I'm going out, and like my hair, you know, just a little like going with some dry shampoo, girl. Because like I said, we're not we're not walking outside with no musty braids. Not in 2021. Okay. Then there's also a dry conditioner, which I think if you're gonna use dry shampoo, you need to follow up with dry conditioner, okay? So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of that. Boom, 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 boom. Pow, 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 pow. Okay, now you wanna follow up with some leave-in cause you actually wanna moisturize your hair, okay? So we're just gonna spray some leave-in. God, it's all over my face. So this next step is optional. My scalp does get a little bit dry, so I do like to follow up and seal with some oil. This one is from Planted, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my scalp. Now, if you don't necessarily want to oil your scalp, that's completely fine. But one thing that you should incorporate, girl, because like I said, we don't wanna have no musty braids, okay? Get some fragrance like invisible hairspray oil. So this one is from Bumble and & Bumble, and it smells so Good. This smells so good, okay? You know how you just have perfume for your body? It's like perfume for your hair. It is oil, but like, it's not the same type of oil. Like, there's a lot of alcohols in this. This is more just like for scent. You can't be putting this on top of a dirty scalp because then your hair is just gonna smell like vanilla and must. That's disgusting. So what am I gonna say? Clean your scalp. Clean your scalp, okay? Wash your hair, I promise. It's okay. The braids will be all right, I promise. So I'm just gonna put a little oil on my scalp because I like some oil. The things with oils, like, and especially when wearing, like, protective styles, you want to have invigorating ingredients on your scalp because it really helps with, like, just soothing the scalp, reducing any, like, itch. So things like peppermint, tea tree. This has tea tree oil, this has lemongrass, this has sunflower. This one doesn't have peppermint, but the other one has peppermint. This one amazing for your braids. Like if you have a protective style and you just want your, your scalp soothed, soothed, this one's really nice. I'm gonna put a little on these edges as well. Boom, we're gonna massage that in. Ooh. Now that we've cleaned the scalp, you've re-moisturized the hair, now it's time to set the hair, lay it down so that it looks as fresh as possible. So what's gonna be your best friend, okay, is the mousse. And then if you wanna lay your edges, you can use an edge control, but you know, totally optional to you, girl. So yeah, I'm gonna lay my edges, gonna add some mousse, tie it down, and then you'll be done. I'm gonna take that mousse, girl. Okay, so you're gonna take that mousse. Ooh, okay, I dragged it, I dragged it. <laughs> mousse is fun, I like mousse. Oh, I was supposed to set my edges first. I was definitely supposed to set my edges first. Set your edges first, y'all, before you do this. This is the best edge control for 
forcey hair. If you guys have a better one, let me know in the comments because I'm always down to try. The only thing I don't like about this edge control is that it like has built up after a while, kind of gets white, but that's why it's important to clean your scalp because I don't actually get any build up because I just clean it off after. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and I will be right back. So makeup is all done. Don't I look good? Thank you. You don't have to tell me. So I'm gonna take these down. Touch up that makeup, that hairline. Do what you gotta do. But girl, you see them edges. And then the actual braids are a lot more laid as well. You don't have as many frizzies. And we're looking refreshed, renewed. <laughs> re-energized. So yeah, that is pretty much how I refresh my knotless braids. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you guys incorporate into your routine? Is this something you're gonna be trying? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna have details below for who braided my hair. I went to a lady in New Jersey by the name of Aisha, okay? And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is my hair, let me show y'all. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please, please do. Make sure to follow me on all of my other social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, all of it. I'll have it all here. And while you're here, you know, you might as well just stay. Watch a few others. Why not? Okay. Bye, y'all. <laughs>